This is Tim from Harrison Consoles. Today I'm going to show you how to record tracks in Mixbus. Let's start with a basic session. I have a backing track that I would like to record vocals on. Before I begin recording, it might be a good idea to set the tempo from my guide track. This might make it easier to edit later and will enable me to use the click track or metronome if I want to record beyond the guide track. To do this, I will select a range that corresponds to one bar, then select Edit, Tempo, Set Tempo from Edit Range. This will create a new tempo marker and make a grid of markers for each bar starting from that point. Now I'll need a track to record to. Let's make a mono track and click to record enable it. If the track is selected on the edit window, I can use the key command Alt-R to prepare the track for recording. By default, Mixbus is set to monitor tracks when they are armed for recording. This means that I will hear the input and any plugins that are active on the track when I record enable it. If you have a sound card or external mixer that you use for zero latency monitoring, you can disable Mixbus monitoring by selecting Options, Monitoring, Hardware. Currently, my microphone is plugged into the first channel of my sound card, and the corresponding track is connected to that input. If I were plugged into a different connector on my sound card, I would select the appropriate input from the menu at the top of the track's mixer strip. Now we're ready to record our takes. There are two ways to begin recording in Mixbus. I can click the Master Record Enable, and then click Play or hit the spacebar to roll the transport. I can also begin rolling the transport first, before engaging the Master Record Enable. You can click the Master Record button at any time to punch your tracks in and out, just like a traditional tape machine. The Master Record Enable will disengage once the transport is stopped. If I mess up the take and want to delete it permanently, I can hold Command to automatically delete the recording once I stop the playhead. The second recording method in Mixbus is called Roll Record. This arms the Master Record Enable and starts the transport in one operation. You might find this technique easier if you are recording yourself. There are two key commands for roll recording. Shift space is the key command that can be used with all keyboards. If I have a number pad, I can also use the 3 key. You might find this key command to be the most convenient because you also have controls for rewind, fast forward, and play or stop in the same area. I can preset a range to record using the punch feature. Make a selection with the Range tool, and then right-click on it to choose Set Punch from Selection. I can also create a punch range during playback by using Command Comma to set the punch start, and Command Period to set the punch end. Enable the Punch In and Punch Out buttons at the top of the edit window. When the playhead crosses the punch in point, the recording will start. When the playhead passes the punch out marker, it will stop recording. You can enable one or both points to manage your punches automatically. If the master record enable is engaged and the transport is rolling, you'll be recording on any tracks that are record enabled. If you're recording a live band, you may want to engage all available tracks. Holding Shift Command will apply your click to all tracks at once. You might remember this feature from hardware tape machines. It was called Crash Record because it drops everything into record simultaneously. If you're recording a larger studio session where the musicians may need to do overdubs, you can group tracks to make the recording process faster and easier. Let's say that I have a number of tracks for each instrument in this session. I can create mix groups and add the tracks to them accordingly. Now, when I go to record a specific instrument, all corresponding tracks are enabled as part of the group. Thanks for watching our demonstration of recording in Mixbus. 
To get more information on Mixbus and all available plugins, please visit our website at mixbus.harrisonconsoles.com.